Today I was in Bloxburg when I came across this guy yelling at a kid outside of a giant hotel that said it was for kids only. He was calling this kid crazy and seemed really angry, so I had to see what the heck was going on. Okay guys, this giant man is literally screaming at a little kid over there and I'm kind of worried about him, so I feel like I should definitely go make sure everything's okay, just in case- Oh my gosh, they are still yelling. Uh, I'm just gonna say, um, uh, hey, what's going on? Wait, he said my wife and daughter are in that hotel, but this crazy kid won't let me inside to get them? Wait, he said I'm not crazy. I'm the boss of this kids-only hotel, and I'm telling you to go away because you're an adult. Wait, seriously, is this actually a kids-only hotel? I can't hold my family in there forever. You're just a kid. And he said your family isn't here. Go away before I call the cops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mr. Leonard said fine, but this isn't over, stupid kid. Oh, he said you're a stinky adult too. Get out of here. Wait, are you talking to me? I'm the stinky adult? He said go. Now! Jeez! Uh, okay, fine! Oh my! He's literally shooing me off of the property. Are you kidding me? What a cranky little kid! I mean, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Jimmy Hoops does seem kind of crazy. What if Mr. Leonard's family actually is being held hostage in there? Okay, guys, I am back at the kids' only hotel, and I have disguised myself as a little kid, and there is Jimmy Hoops. I'm hoping he will let me inside, and then I can do some investigating to see if Mr. Leonard's family is actually being trapped here. But first, he has to let me into the hotel. Hi! Can I stay at this kids only hotel? He said, hmm, have I met you before? You look familiar. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> nope. No way. I, I've never seen you before. So it's impossible that you could have seen me. He said, weird, but you do look like a kid. Yes, okay, my disguise is good. He said, so sure, all kids get in for free. Cool. Nice, guys. I don't have to pay anything. He said, but first, you have to answer a few questions so we can make sure you're a real kid. Follow me inside. Uh, okay. Guys, I didn't know there'd be an interview process. What if I don't know the answers? I have to try anyways, just so I can make sure that I can get in here and see if Mr. Leonard's family is being trapped. All right, Jimmy is about to start quizzing me, and I hope I can pass off as a kid. I just have to get into the right childlike mindset, which I think I can do. He said, I'm going to ask you a couple questions, get them right, and you'll get to stay. Got it. He said, first question, would you rather have regular pancakes or gummy bear pancakes? Guys, gummy bear pancakes kind of sound really gross, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say that the pancakes with candy in them is the right answer. So I'm going to say gummy bear pancakes. Oh, he said, good answer. Okay, guess I got that one right. He said, next question, do you think parents suck? Oh, guys, what kind of question? I love my parents, but I have a feeling since this kid was literally screaming at Mr. Leonard and runs a kids only hotel that he probably doesn't like his parents very much. Yeah, parents are the living worst. He said, correct, parents are the worst because they don't let you do it. Anything. All right, guys, I'm glad I got the answer correct, but this kid clearly has some issues he needs to work out. He's got a lot of anger. He said, you pass. I'll show you how cool the hotel is now. Oh, yes, awesome. Hotel tour. Now I can start to look at some clues to see if Mr. Leonard's family is being trapped here. Okay, Jimmy took me to the snack room first, and this actually does look like everything a kid could possibly want. I mean, they've got sodas and everything, popcorn. He said, we can eat whatever we want since our parents can't see stop us. Jeez, okay, he seems to really resent his parents a lot, but I need to play along and I'm gonna say, uh, ha, ah, so cool, just eating junk food all day long. They've even got like a tiny little kid kitchen. <laughs> he said, now follow me to the gaming room. Some of the other kids are in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of surprised that there's other guests here. But this could be a good thing because then maybe I can get some more information about this hotel or about Mr. Leonard's missing kid. Okay, okay. Uh, it looks like Timothy Lanes and Mary Bo Berry are in here playing. And oh yeah, this is definitely quite the game room. Jimmy said, are y'all enjoying your stay? Mary said, oh yeah, this 
place is the best. She clearly looks very happy. Oh, and Timothy said, this place rocks. He's not even getting up from the computer. She said, my parents aren't here to tell me what to do so I can do whatever I want. Okay, you guys, clearly there's a theme going on that all these kids hate their parents. So I definitely need to fit in if I want to get any information out of these kids. So I'm gonna say, uh, ha ha, cool. My parents uh, suck too. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say, I wanna be here forever. Jimmy just said, LOL. And Mary said, oh, you can stay if you wanna. Huh? I mean, I was just like saying like hypothetically forever, but she said, I haven't seen my family in months. Uh, I can't believe it's been that long since a kid has seen our family. <gasps> I wonder if that's Mr. Leonard's daughter. Jimmy just said, ooh, y'all should go play outside. It's really sunny. I mean, at least it's good that he's telling them to go play outside. Uh, oh, Mary said, oh, okay. Oh, and Timothy's up from his game too. I guess they are going outside, but, but um, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, I'll go too. Guys, this is my chance to go out there and make friends with these kids and see if I can get them to like me so that I can get some information. All right, to get on these kids' good side, I need to play some games with them, I think, but I don't know what they exactly have in mind. Mary said, let's play tag. Oh, okay, I can do that. I know how to play tag. I'm gonna say, uh, cool, good, I yeah. She said, you're it! Wait, me? Oh, okay, okay. These kids are going down. Here we go. I am a tag veteran. Get back here. Get back here. I'm climbing up. I'm climbing up. Climbing up. Going down the slide. You can't run. Tag! Tag! Ha! Ha! Okay. Okay, guys. I got Timothy. I got Timothy. All right. It's just me and you, Mary. Here we go. Mary said, you can't catch me. Oh, yeah. You want to bet? You want to bet? You want to bet? I'm coming. I'm coming. Coming, coming, coming. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Correct. Oh, she's gonna go down the slide. She's gonna go down the slide. Tag! I win. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Mary just said, you're really good. I'm gonna say thanks. Whew, I haven't played that since I was little, man. Wow, feels good to win. Mary said, huh? Wait, what? What'd I say? She said, what do you mean since you were little? Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot I was supposed to be a kid. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, I just meant, uh, she said, you're a kid, aren't you? Timothy said, yeah, what? Uh, I just meant really, really little. <laughs> Mary said, hmm, that doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. She said, we're the same age and we play tag all the time. I, well, I, I guess I just get, uh, really really busy i i don't have time for tag <laughs> hey guys guys am i blowing it i think i'm blowing it she said kids our age don't get that busy oh, fair enough um i uh i gotta go uh, i gotta go thanks for playing oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i cannot believe i just did that i totally did not get on their good side oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh they're looking for me <gasps> okay um doesn't seem like i'm gonna get much information out of them and i also may have just gotten caught so before i get kicked out of here i take this opportunity to go look around the hotel. All right, guys, I am back in the main hallway and I'm gonna try and find anything suspicious while also trying to avoid Jimmy. I don't want him to ask me why I'm not at the playground with the other kids. I'm gonna go ahead and look here in the snack room. Doesn't look like anything's out of the ordinary here. Hold on, guys, Jimmy just put in chat, you want your mom? Who is he talking to? He said, are you kidding me? Oh, he seemed angry. Okay, hold on, hold on. I see down here. Oh, I see the door's open. The door's open, guys. Okay, oh, wait, there he is, there he is. <gasps> He's talking to Lauren Leonard and said, she said, where did my mom go? Wait, oh my gosh, she's crying, you guys. What is going on? He said, she ditched you. This is your home now. Uh, oh my gosh, Jimmy is being so mean to her. Lauren said, no, she wouldn't ditch me. Uh, Jimmy said, well, she did. You're in the most fun hotel in the world. Just get over it. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, Lauren said, my mom wouldn't do that. Why is he being so mean to this girl? Lauren said, but I miss my mom and dad. Jimmy just said, too bad. Uh, you don't need them anymore. Stop being such a crybaby. Oh my gosh, guys. I thought this kid was just mean to adults, but he is clearly being super mean to kids too. Lauren said, oh, you're such a meanie, Jimmy. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There she goes. There she goes. <gasps> She's going into the snack room, guys. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try and run over there. She looks so upset. I think I need to check on her. All right, guys, I'm gonna go in here and try and be as comforting as possible. Lauren might be different from some of the other kids and she actually wants to leave here. So maybe she can give me some more information just for privacy's sake. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door. Oh my gosh, you guys, she's literally crying right now. I'm just gonna say, um, ahem, uh, hi, are 
you okay? Oh gosh, you guys, she looks so sad. You said, oh, hi. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down next to her. I'm just gonna say, uh, what's, what's wrong? I'm go I don't want her to know that I was like eavesdropping on their conversation. She said, my mom left me and now I'm gonna be stuck here forever. Oh my gosh, uh, what about your dad? Uh, could he come get you? She said, my dad, I don't know. He probably forgot about me. Wait a second, that guy this morning had a missing kid and wife here and now this little girl is missing her parents. So hold on, you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and ask, um, is your dad Mr. Leonard? She said, wait, yes? How did you know? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so dumb. They literally have the last name. I can't believe I didn't put that together. Wow. I'm gonna say, uh, I saw him this morning, uh, looking for you and your mom. He's so worried. Okay, that means that her mom didn't ditch her and her dad did not forget about her. She said, what, really? Mr. Leonard was right. He is holding his family captive. She said, oh no. Okay, okay, wait, uh, don't, don't freak out. Uh, we're gonna find them, okay? We have to wait until uh, nighttime and then we can look around, okay? She said, good idea. All right, you guys. Looks like we are on a hunt for some parents. All right, guys. It is late at night right now. It's, it's around midnight. So that means all the other kids should be asleep. And I had Lauren come to my room. So now it is time to start snooping. I'm just going to say, follow me and stay close in case we... Uh, see anyone that we're not supposed to be seeing, okay? Looks like the hallway's clear. I'm gonna whisper back to Lauren and say, uh, it's clear. All right, here we go, here we go. To the elevator, to the elevator. We gotta get back downstairs as quickly as possible. Here we go, we are going down. Jimmy really only showed us the snack room and the gaming room, so I'm wondering if there's any other rooms here that we haven't seen. I'm gonna run down this way. I'm just gonna say, uh, follow me, okay? Um, nothing suspicious about the desk. And I don't think there was any sort of like office space or anything because he's a kid. I'm gonna check around in here. This is just the game room and it all looks pretty normal. Okay, I'm gonna say, uh, let's go to the other side, all right? All right, here we go, here we go. We are running, we are running, we are sneaking. We are going to find some clues and find Lauren's mom. All right, here we go. There is a door to the playground and Wait, what the heck is this? How I must have been so distracted from leaving the playground earlier that I didn't see this? What is going on with me today? I am missing some big clues. Lauren said, what is this door? That is a very good question. I'm gonna say, uh, we should definitely check this out because I mean, I don't know what kind of kid's doing construction, so we can just hop over that. Okay, now we just need to make sure it's not locked. Ah! Jimmy! He said, where do you think you guys go? We're just uh, playing a de detective, uh, detective game. <laughs> it's just a game. Um, uh, we're we're spies, so we had to be up really late at night and sneak around. He said, "Hmm, well, you can't be over here. Go play detective somewhere else." Why is it uh blocked off? It would make sense for kids to be really curious, so I think I can ask that question because it's off limits. Now go back to your rooms. Guys, it is probably better to not push it right now and say, um, okay, okay, uh, bye, bye, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're going back to our room. Come on, Lauren, we're going back to the room. Okay, okay, new game plan. I think I know that Jimmy is hiding something behind that door for sure, but we need a way to distract him so that we can actually get in there. Oh, uh, Lauren said, what are we gonna do? Um, I'm thinking, okay, don't rush me. What kind of distraction can we do? Uh, I think I have an idea. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna say, kids love dogs, right? Lauren said, OMG, yes, I love puppies. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Then I think I know exactly how to distract Jimmy. All right, guys, Jimmy is in the lobby right now and I snuck out to go get my dog, Pat, and I brought him over. So hopefully once Jimmy sees him, he will be so distracted that I can sneak down that hallway and get into the secret door. All right, here we go. I'm gonna say go time, Pat. All right, there he goes. Pat is on his way in. Turn on cute mode. <gasps> there he goes, there he goes. Oh, oh, he said, Jimmy said, oh my gosh, a puppy, you're so cute. 
he is. Oh, oh, and there goes Pat. He's going down the hallway. Yes, yes, yes. He said, come back, puppy. I want to play with you. Yes, guys, it is working. It's working. I just need him to be out of sight. There we go. There we go. My plan worked perfectly. Sometimes kids are very simple. And now I can run down this hallway and get into that secret door. It is time to investigate. All right, guys, I am back at the caution tape. And this is definitely where Jimmy is hiding some type of secret. I'm just really hoping that Miss Leonard is actually behind this door. Considering this is where Jimmy wanted us to not go to. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Seems like the coast is still clear. I'm going, oh geez, I'm going in. I am going in. And at least I made it behind the door. We are making some progress here, people. Okay, okay, I'm going down, I'm going, oh no. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is Miss Leonard right there. Holy cow, she's in a ginormous cage. She said another stupid kid either let me out or leave me alone. Oh, okay, I'm gonna whisper to her, you guys, and I'm gonna say, uh, shh, wait, I, I don't work here. I'm here to help. It would be great if you would stop yelling. She said, really? Then you have to help me find my daughter. I'm gonna say, uh, Lauren is perfectly fine and we will get you both out of here, okay? Okay, this kid is definitely crazier than I thought. But luckily, all of the kids have access to all of the rooms, so that means that I can let the door open. Miss Leonard said, thank you so much. I'm gonna say, uh, no problem. But I don't know how long my uh, dog is gonna be able to distract the little evil kid owner. So uh, we've gotta be pretty careful getting us out of here. I'm gonna say, uh, follow me and be quiet because clearly this woman is a yeller this way i already told lauren to meet me in the front lobby so come on come on come on there's no time for shutting doors all right here we go here we go checking corners so far so good the coast is clear wait 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 oh, there's lauren there's lauren okay she made it here and jimmy is still not back at the front desk all right now hopefully we can get the heck out of here fast i'm gonna say and go lauren 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 look look look, look. i found your mom i found your mom Lauren said, Mom, I missed you so much. Miss Leonard said, My baby, I'm so glad you're okay. Wrap it up, guys. Uh, we gotta get out of here. This place is crazy. Come on, let's go. What the? Oh, Jimmy said, uh, Too late. Where the heck is Pat? Oh, man, Jimmy just got real crazy looking. He said, You can't leave. This hotel is amazing. Don't you want to stay? Why would anyone want to stay? Oh, Lauren said, Heck no, this place sucks. And Miss Leonard said, yeah, leave us alone. Okay, feisty family, I like it. Jimmy said, but your stupid parents are controlling you. You have to stay here and play forever. Guys, I know I said earlier that this kid has some anger issues to work through, but I think he's just psycho. I'm gonna say, just because you hate your parents doesn't mean you can trap everyone else's. I mean, not everyone else hates their parents. Jimmy just said, yes, I can. Uh, Pat, Pat, oh my God. Who the heck did he bring with him? The lady said, hey kid, we've been looking all over for you. You're in big trouble, young man. Oh my gosh, guys, that is Mr. and Mrs. Hoops. That's Jimmy's parents. <gasps> Jimmy said, what are you two doing here? Get away from me. Miss Hoops said, you are so grounded. Mr. Hoops said, you are never leaving our site ever again. Oh my gosh. It looks like Jimmy's plan was stopped anyways, so uh, that was pretty good timing. Let's get the heck out of here and get out of this weird kid body. 